to the Einstein keynote. My name is Sanjana Paralaker, and I'm a product marketer here at Salesforce Einstein. So today is my favorite day of Dreamforce. It's AI day. And that means that we have amazing content lined up for all of you here today, including this keynote right here. And we're going to cover some amazing innovations from our product team, from Einstein Voice, which I'm sure everyone is dying to hear about, to the Einstein platform, to our amazing trailblazers in AI that are really changing their businesses with artificial intelligence. But before we get there, we wanted to begin with a moment of gratitude. And we wanted to recognize a local trailblazer in the community, Code Tenderloin. Now, this is a really special moment for me personally because I've been involved with this organization along with my entire Einstein family for the last few years now. So to be able to be here and be able to tell their story with all of you here today is incredibly special. So please join me in welcoming Victoria Westbrook and Tim Trong from Code Tenderloin. Welcome, you guys. Welcome to the Dreamforce stage. Welcome to the keynote. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. All right, now, I've known both of you for a few years now, but how about you introduce yourself to the audience here and tell us a bit about Code Tenderloin. Code Tenderloin is a workforce development organization that helps people with employment barriers. What does that mean? We get people jobs. We work with people who are homeless, at risk of becoming homeless, people who have struggled with substance abuse, or who have been out of the workforce for any ex period of time. As the director of programs, I do many things. In a, any given day, I might work on putting somebody in a job, working at outreach in the community, teaching a class, or writing a grant. My career started in first-generation CRM, and as a self-proclaimed data nerd, I know the power that data has to transform an organization. I think everyone here can also say that they're self-proclaimed data nerds, so it's great to hear that as well. So Tim, you are an admin by day and by night for Code Tenderloin. So why don't you tell everyone here how you got involved? Yeah, so I found out about Code Tenderloin through a local volunteer fair uh, in the Tenderloin, um, and I've been involved since January. Um, I saw a very visible need in our own community to uh, provide opportunities for the underserved population. Um, like most first-generation immigrants, my parents came here with uh, very little. Uh, they worked hard, but they, it took the support of our communities to really build that foundation. So I'm really excited about what we're doing at Code Tenderloin, because um, that's exactly what we're doing. We're providing opportunities for those looking to build a solid foundation. That's amazing. It sounds like you've gotten a really great start with Salesforce. So we're here at the Einstein keynote. What are your hopes? for the future for Code Tenderloin with using Salesforce and with using Einstein? Yeah, definitely. I, you know, I hope to not only administer an org that um, houses data, but um, empower our inspirational users, just, just like Vicky here. Um, with Einstein, we, I hope to surface uh, predictions and recommendations uh, right, into, right into the uh, Salesforce interface uh, so that Vicky can spend less time uh, in the office uh, and more time with the students. It's, it's been an absolute dream being here and an absolute dream uh, using Einstein uh, for Salesforce. Amazing. What about you, Vicki? What are your hopes for the future of Code Tenderloin? I'm so excited about us using Salesforce and Einstein. As Tim said, it does increase our efficiency. We spend less time collecting data and more time helping our people. It's also helping us collect a more robust data set so that we can better tell our story and the story and the successes of our participants. That's incredible. And you have a captive audience here at the Einstein keynote. If there's one call to action you have for everyone here, what would that be? The power of a dollar should never be underestimated. If each of you in this audience donated just one dollar to our organization, that would allow us to put four people through our program. And that may not sound like a lot, but when we work with a participant and we get them into a living wage job, it changes their lives, the lives of their family members, and it makes our community stronger. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna give you guys hugs. <laughs> All right, thank you for being here, you guys. Let's give a round, round of applause for Code Tenderloin. All right, let's get this keynote started. So please make sure you make all your purchasing decisions based on what's generally available on the Salesforce website and not what you see here today. Let's roll the film. 
So what's dead is the old way of working. You've got this, all of this technology is converging and uh, it, it's creating amazing opportunities for connections. It's creating amazing opportunities for engagement. But how does it go to the next step? Being able to think smarter, think faster, to be able to see patterns that you can't see, right, with your naked eye. AI really helps us to go and understand the customer at a level that's really hard to do manually. How does data become knowledge? Only through association, only through iteration. Now, it's people that iterate and share the data that turns it into knowledge. And every action they take informs that engine and it will bring them along on a journey. Through the partnership with Salesforce, we've been able to build in artificial intelligence right into the platform. We're using the AI tool Einstein to generate the next best product for our customers. With Salesforce's help, we are able to really be intelligent, proactive, and not just understand information about our customers, but understand the insights and be able to anticipate and proactively build for their future needs. Salesforce helps us with that by giving us easy access to information that's at our fingertips. It's saved a lot of manual work for managers who have busy workloads. That's a game changer. It's absolutely a game changer. The brilliance of Einstein is that it takes individual activity and turns it into a collective activity individual data points turned into knowledge. Knowledge turns into impact. Impact changes communities. Please welcome VP of Product Marketing, Jim Sinai. Dreamforce. Are you guys excited? Today is AI day. What an amazing day today is. We've got amazing sessions, amazing speakers. We've got Kai Fu Lee, who's here later this afternoon. And of course, our very own Dr. Richard Socher is going to be hosting a phenomenal session later today. But we wanted to start by doing what we always do. And of course, we just had a great moment recognizing one of our trailblazers with Einstein. But we want to recognize all the trailblazers that are here in the room today. Because you're not just sitting here uh, looking up at screen at, at trailblazers, but you're sitting next to them. These are people that are changing their business, changing everything they do with their jobs and their community using the power of Einstein. Now, you know, of course it's the people, but I love the results. I love talking about how people are actually driving business outcomes with Einstein, because that's what we're all about. And uh, let's just talk about some of these results. If you're, any marketers in the house here today? If you're a marketer, who wouldn't want to get 63% increase in email opens? That's exactly what Lids, a, uh, a you know, retailer of hats and, and sportswear, got when they turned on Einstein, right? Um, anyone here in financial services? Financial services is a huge industry, and U.S. Bank is driving 2.35 times as many leads, uh, qualified leads to their wealth managers. But you don't have to be in financial services to appreciate and love that. You just have to have a sales process because they're just using the sales functionality inside of Einstein. And of course, uh, if you're a product company and you sell things on the web or if you're a runner, you might like this story. I love to run. I did a few half marathons, no bragging. Uh, and I, uh, ASICS is getting free money. That's 16% increase in revenue. Now, I'll tell you the little secret about what all of these companies have in common. They didn't throw out their, their, their workflows. They didn't replace people with Einstein. They didn't replace people with AI. Because AI is about helping all of us live our maximum potential and work to our maximum potential. And that's all it's doing. And it's already doing this today in our personal life. Take, for example, uh, my morning. So I got up this morning, and the first thing I did was I said, OK, Google, put on my playlist. Tell me what I need to know uh, about my day. So of course, it played my hype up music. I got to be jazzed for this event. But it also told me there's a lot of traffic today. You know, There's Dreamforce. And, there's some other things going on in the city causing some traffic. Uh, and I got in my car, and I have a, uh, I have a, uh, a really fancy car. It's, it's a Honda, but it's an awesome car. This Honda Pilot has AI in it, and it keeps my cruise control adaptive, and it keeps me in the lane. And of course, I'm using Waze, which is also AI, assisting me in getting to work. And of course, before I even got to San Francisco, I'm inside my mobile app, and I'm using Starbucks 
And um, Starbucks, their mobile app, not only knows me, it's not, pr not only personalized to me, but it's, it's recommending new products and it, has, it makes it easy so I can have my drink ready right when I walk in the store. So the question is, how do I take all that AI that I use to get to work, how do I take the power of that AI and bring it into the workplace and use it so I can bring my best, so we can all bring our best work uh, throughout the day? And that is what Salesforce Einstein is all about, it's about helping us live and work our best uh, lives by taking care of all the little things, by assisting us in all the little things. And it does it with uh, you know, the capabilities of discovering. So you know, if you're a marketer, you're saying, how do I discover trends in my business? How do I discover uh, what's working and what's not working? Uh, predicting what's going to happen. Who doesn't want to walk into a sales meeting with their, their sales leader and not know where they're going to finish the quarter? And of course, it's about recommendations, right? Uh, what, what, what products might you recommend? What's the right uh, uh, cross-sell or the right upsell in a call center? These recommendations are helping our teams do their best work. And of course, who here has ever loved entering notes into Salesforce? No, that should be automated. And there's so many other little things that we do that should be automated. Uh, the customer service example about resetting passwords is a phenomenal example. I think no customer service agent should ever have to answer a question, how do I reset a password? That should be an automated question. And so what we thought, what we, you know, when you take this, these concepts and you apply them to Salesforce, it all comes together in one magical screen. And so you can see right here, this is an example we put together. And of course, the first thing we're going to do is, is help that agent understand what's driving net promoter score, discover the trends in the business that's driving the net promoter score. And then we're going to say, you know, uh, make it easy. So uh, what's the likelihood that this customer is going to renew? Not just are they going to renew, but what should you do about it? Give them the recommendations about what next steps to take when they're talking to that customer. And of course, automation, right? So how can you take the repetitive tasks that, that go on in the business and automate all of that? So behind this amazing, amazing platform, uh, be, uh, sorry, behind this amazing experience is a platform. And this platform is so powerful, and we wanted to talk about it for a moment because we know there's people in here who are technical, who want to understand what goes on underneath the hood. And of course, we're packaging all this into our application, sales, service, marketing, commerce, but we're also giving you the platform capabilities to build your own analytics, to, to build your own applications, to build your own smart assistant using the power of the platform. And underneath all of these services are powerful, powerful AI automated data discovery, deep learning, machine learning. And I wanted to spend a moment and talk about this concept of automated machine learning for a minute, because each one of you here are very different. And we cannot do custom AI for you and for you and for you. We just don't have enough data scientists. There aren't enough in the world. So we had to automate that process. We had to build AI to do that. And this summer, we took a huge leap forward, and we open sourced that engine inside our AutoML engine, and we call that transmogrify.ai. And I wanted to uh, stop here and talk to Sh Shuba Naber. And Shuba, you're the, you and the team drove uh, transmogrify.ai. Tell us everyone, what is it? Um, thank you, Jim. Uh, by the way, you're doing a great job up there. Isn't he amazing? <laughs> Give him a hand. <laughs> now, now I'm going to get nervous. Oh, no. <laughs> OK. Um, so everything that we've been doing here, at, we've been building here at Einstein has really been to make machine learning accessible to every business. And Transmogrify is yet another step in that direction. It's an automated machine learning library for structured data. It's open, it's free, and it enables any data scientist, any developer, sorry, to be a world-class data scientist. Um, we've already had amazing traction in the first month of being open source. We've had more than, we've had thousands of people trying it out. Uh, but the world needs more data scientists than that, as you know, uh, Jim. So to everyone in the audience here, go to the website today, download it, give it a try, build your first machine learning models. Don't forget to leave us a star on GitHub. And uh, hopefully we'll have 5,000 more world-class data scientists by the end of Dreamforce. That's an awesome goal, 5,000. And before we let you go, you're the face of this, this project, but there's actually a whole team behind Transmogrify. And I just wanted to give a big shout out to our data science team who's standing right over here. Go ahead and stand up, guys. Okay. 
You have to forgive them. They're data scientists. They're a little shy. <laughs> And then there's one other service that we're really excited to talk about today. This is, this is, the, this is the new thing that, that's going to drive Einstein forward. This is Einstein Voice. And this is something we've been working on all year, and I'm so happy to, to introduce. And we saw a little preview of this yesterday. And we're really going to go deeper into everything that we need to know about uh, Einstein Voice in this keynote. So Hold on, Jim. We all know that Salesforce product marketers know how to put on a good show. Let's bring someone a bit more qualified on stage to tell everyone more about the technology that makes Einstein voice possible. Is Richard Socher in the room? Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Richard Socher. Oh, Jim, you're, you're plenty qualified. I just feel like an overly proud father who can't wait to talk about the first steps of his child. When I joined two years ago, I thought about how could AI have the biggest impact on the Salesforce ecosystem and the CRM platform. And while we started working on computer vision and understanding visual content, it was clear to me there's really voice, the natural language understanding that's behind it. And it's quite intuitive, because in the end, we as people all talk to each other in natural language. If we can make that experience as simple as the CM experience, then really we can drive a lot of productivity. And so I'm really excited to introduce to you Einstein Voice and see it come alive at this Dreamforce. We believe this will be a huge productivity boost for a lot of the tasks that you're working on at CM. And we're starting with three things. Our main focus in the beginning is to conversationally log notes. This is probably one of the least liked features of the CRM. You had a great meeting, and then you have to go and actually go through a dozen clicks, a bunch of different screens, and type in your notes, update the data, and create different tasks and follow-ups and things like that. Now, this isn't fun, but if you could just go and talk about your meeting in natural language, then we will basically make you much more productive. It's as if you had your own Einstein assistant. And what's even more amazing, and not that common for enterprise AI features, is that we'll actually introduce this feature for free. You don't get to say that a lot at Dreamforce. So we also realized that there are 50 million smart speakers in the US alone that people have in their kitchens, in their living rooms. And we want to be able to connect Salesforce to that kind of experience as well. And so we're really excited that you will have personalized daily briefings every day. When you're in the kitchen, you want to know, what's my first meeting? Am I still on time? You can get that daily briefing through an integration of smart speakers with Salesforce. And I've also seen a couple of meetings where Mark is in forecast meetings, and people have to click and work hard and prepare various analytics uh, dashboards. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if you can just say, hey, Einstein, what's my forecast for this quarter, for this region? And because of that, we will have Einstein-driven, voice-driven dashboards that will also listen to your voice and update accordingly. Now, I wouldn't be the chief scientist if I didn't tell you a little bit about how it works. So the voice part that we're calling all of this is actually just a step one. And it's almost kind of commoditized, right? We already know with Siri that you can talk and transcribe your text. Where it actually gets really hard and interesting is the natural language processing that happens behind that and after that. We have to extract all the different company names and people names. We need to understand that those $500,000 are the value of that opportunity, not ACV, not total addressable market, and things like that. We need to understand the language that you use in your organization. And let's face it, every organization has their own lingo. We have the V2 mom. We care a lot about ACV, things like that. The CRM needs to understand that, and the language needs to be understood properly. And then, and this is where a lot of the magic happens for our CRM, we actually integrate all of that into the CRM. We know that when you talk about the last meeting with John, who, which John that is. You may have lots of people with that name in your address book. But we know the meeting you just came out of. We can integrate that and incorporate all of that. 
So those are the three major ingredients. Now, I've talked so far about the users of Salesforce. But of course, we also care about your customers and their experience. And so I'm very excited to say that we will also incorporate voice, not just for Salesforce users, but also for your customers. And we'll connect that to Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, and be, again, the platform that you can modify and make useful for your own. So if you're in a hotel room or you have a question and about your insurance company, your insurance company can build, uh, and you know, others, your banks and everybody else, can build their own bots on top of it and have them also be voice activated. Now, to be honest, that was just a tiny preview. I could talk about this for days because I love AI and all the impact that it has. So if you want to hear a little bit more about it, today at 5 p.m., we'll have a future of AI keynote where we'll tell you a little bit more about how this works, but also paint you a vision of what's actually coming up next as we're combining all these different AI features that we're working on at, in the research group. But for now, I'm really excited to introduce to you Jennifer Legale, who is one of our phenomenal salespeople. And she has actually been using Einstein Voice for this whole summer and will tell us a little bit and give us a feeling for how it really works. Take it away, Jennifer. Awesome. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I am Jennifer Legale. I'm an SVP of sales here at Salesforce. And I'm going to take you through a real live demo from an actual user of Einstein Voice. Now, I've been at Salesforce for 15 years now. This is my 16th Dreamforce. And any of you who have been to enough Dreamforces knows that it's very rare to find a salesperson in a product keynote. But fortunately, Richard saw how passionate I was about using Einstein Voice during the beta testing. And he asked me to share with all of you why I love it so much. So first, let me just say, this is one of the best things that has happened to us in sales since commission checks. We, we, Einstein Voice makes it so easy for us to update Salesforce now. And we're all in the same boat where we're trying to fit more into our day than is really humanly possible. And especially in sales, we're always on the go. So getting those golden nuggets, as I call them, that critical piece of, you know, pieces of customer information that we're getting directly from our customers into Salesforce really takes time that we just don't have. So I'm going to take you through three scenarios today. And it really is going to show what a game changer it is for us, not just from a productivity standpoint, but also for the ability for us to truly collaborate across the organization. So the first one is in the morning. So we can all relate to the hecticness of getting up and getting ready in the morning, especially if you have children. I have five kids myself. So imagine in between my coffee and breaking up fights with the kids, I can say, Alexa, Give me my Salesforce daily briefing. Good morning, Jen. Welcome to your Salesforce daily briefing. You have closed $4.5 million and need $2 million more million to reach your goal. Your opportunity with clean transportation is trending down with decreased email activity. That's all for now. Awesome. Thank you, Alexa. Um, so you can see I can get some critical pieces of information to start my day. I can see how far we've gone. I can see how far we still have to go. But most importantly, what I'm getting is critical pieces of information and where my business is not going in the right direction, because that's my job as an executive. And in this case, I can see that the clean transportation opportunity is starting to trend down. So typically what I'll do is I will then connect with my team. We'll figure out a path forward. And typically what we'll do is one of us will visit the customer. And so this brings us to scenario number two and where the amazingness of Einstein Voice continues. Now this doesn't really need an introduction or an explanation. Watch this. I just met with Linda Lee from Clean Transportation. We discussed the issues, and we've agreed on a path to move forward. Update the stage to negotiation. Update the close date to next week. Follow up with Linda next week. Now, you can see here this is just voice dictation, right? We all know this. It is awesome. Um, I do a quick check for accuracy here. And I'm going to let Einstein do its thing. Now, Einstein voice is predisposed to looking for objects in Salesforce. 
And so as you can see, it found my clean transportation object, and, or my account. Uh, and then it'll, always, it'll find all of the opportunities associated with that. It found my Sales Cloud Einstein. I can always search manually if it didn't work, which is great. So I'm going to choose Sales Cloud Einstein opportunity. And now it's looking for a contact to associate this task with. And it found Linda Lee because she's part of Clean Transportation. Again, I could search manually if I wanted to attach it to something different. And now you can see it's updated the stage, it has updated the close date, and it's updated or it's created a task for me. I'm going to save that to Salesforce. But can we all just take a moment to appreciate what just happened here? This is not just voice dictation. This is voice dictation plus intelligence. Einstein Voice was able to read my natural language, search for objects in Salesforce, and then update objects based on my cues. I just did in one minute what used to take me to the end of the day to get to, and let's be honest, if I actually got to it at all. This is truly game changing. Think about what this means for all of your customers and all of your users of Salesforce and all of your employees that are touching customer data and interacting with your customers. This is truly the future. This is the beginning of an adoption revolution. So the third scenario is something that's near and dear to every salesperson's heart. And I would say that, this is sarcastically, every salesperson looks really forward to this every week, which is the weekly forecast call. And when Richard and his team went out to talk to a lot of us in the audience and a lot of our customers, he asked, what can we do, what can my team and I build into Einstein Voice to make it better? What can we do for you? And the number one thing that came back was manipulation of dashboards and reports and analytics with your voice. And so that's what his team are building. And let me show you what that looks like. You guys ready? You pumped up? All right. So Google, show me my weekly forecast dashboard. Awesome. I love these visuals. I love analytics now. And I love the visual of the map. So I'm going to double click into that. Google, show me the regional pipeline map. Awesome. And I can see there's a lot of green going on, a lot of yellow, which is great. But again, my job is to fix the reds and get the reds to go green. And I see Nebraska, for example, is red. So let's double click into Nebraska and see what's going on with that. All right, guys? Uh, Google, show me all of my opportunities in Nebraska. Awesome. So now, do you guys see what I see? It's my new chief of staff, my new favorite person on my team, which is Einstein. I literally cannot live without my Einstein score. It gives me so much insight. And it's telling me that my largest opportunity in Nebraska is not going in the right direction. So we will figure out a, a closed plan, right, guys? We'll get this one back on track. Um, but that's how, uh, that's how you can manipulate reports and dashboards with Einstein voice. And as you can see, I don't have to fumble with my computer. I don't have to be an expert in analytics. I can simply connect with the team, be more engaging, and, uh, and use Einstein uh, voice to manipulate those dashboards. So that is how Einstein voice makes me look like a rock star in my business. How are you all going to help you and yourselves and your company with Einstein voice? And with that, let me introduce you to Ayori Selassie. And she is one of our rock star Einstein product marketers here at Salesforce. And she's going to introduce you to a great story about Michelin, who is one of our top AI trailblazers. Take it away, Ayori. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> Welcome, trailblazers. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Einstein voice. Wow. Now, this is the greatest Dreamforce ever. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you've all come here to learn about artificial intelligence and how you can activate it in your business. Now, my name is Ayori Selassie, and we're going to talk about two incredible trailblazers today, household names, Michelin, Hulu. We're going to talk about their visions, how they're going to leverage AI for their future. And then specifically, I'm so privileged to share this story of Michelin. Michelin makes the tires that take us from here to there and back again. And the critical portion of their business is their distribution channel, their dealers. And who's responsible for the success of those dealers? It's the key account manager at Michelin. That's who manages the relationship. 
And when it came to the key account manager, Michelin wanted to help them to transform their sales. They wanted to help them discover insights across their business channels. They wanted to help them predict sales so that they could improve their performance. And they wanted to assist them with steps and guided next best actions so they could close more deals faster and be more successful. And they also wanted to take all those capabilities and wrap them up and make them available to the rest of their ecosystem with powerful tools like automation, things like tire recognition. So let's hop into a demo and see what this vision could look like inside of Salesforce. Here we are inside of Salesforce, but this ain't your daddy's Salesforce. <laughs> this is not your old CRM that we know from back in the day. This is a turbocharged sales cloud. Right here, we've got intelligence embedded everywhere. This is a replenishment forecast. This can tell the key account manager for every dealer, when are they going to be likely to replenish their forecast? When do they need to order new tires? This is a predictive replenishment forecast, and it's powered by Einstein Analytics. It's made up of a mashup of data that lives inside of Salesforce and outside across all of your external data systems. That's because insight lives everywhere across your business. And with Einstein Analytics, you can bring it all together right where all of your employees need it. Let's go to step two on the Michelin Innovation Tour. Now, if you're in sales, then you live and breathe opportunities. And everyone wants to figure out, how can I close more deals? How can I be more focused on my customer? So what we did here is we enabled Sales Cloud Einstein. With the flip of the switch, we turned on Einstein Opportunity Scores and gave every opportunity a predictive score. Look at that. Einstein is telling us which opportunities are most likely to close so that we can focus, we can take the right actions, focus on the high value opportunities, and when we see something going wrong, we can take the right action to correct it. Michelin didn't want to stop there. They had a vision to be even more predictive. And specifically, they wanted to help their key account managers identify which dealers were most likely to purchase the newest line of tires. So we built a prediction for that. Here we have right here a custom prediction, propensity to buy new tires. This normally takes a team of data scientists months to build. But with this right here, with Einstein, any Salesforce admin can build a custom prediction with just a few clicks with Einstein Prediction Builder, which is in beta right now. This is where the rubber meets the road. Now, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> now, predictions are incredible. We all need them. But how do we take those predictions and turn it into action? How do we get it to drive the right behavior across our business? We've got to take those predictions and roll them up with our business strategy, with our business rules and our logic. And so we're going to do that inside of the Strategy Crafter. We're going to put our admin hat on for a moment. So if you're in sales and you see this and you're like, whoa, don't worry. This is for the admin heroes. OK, so this is Einstein Next Best Action. This is basically all the different actions and behaviors that we want to drive within our sales team, customer visits, reorder existing products, position new products, and we've wrapped it all around rules and logic so we can surface the next best action. But this isn't just any rules engine. This is an intelligent rules engine, and right there, we have embedded propensity to buy, the prediction I showed you earlier. So now, if a dealer is above a certain threshold of their propensity to buy, the account manager is going to receive the, just the right guided action to help them close those deals and be more connected to their customer. Amazing. Let's keep it going. So Xavier, let's take this application and let's update it. We're going to bring the Einstein recommendations component onto that page. We're going to pull in the strategy that I just showed you from the strategy crafter. And just like that, we've transformed this intelligent application into an intelligent assistant. And now every account manager has guided recommendations and actions telling us what steps to take. Here we have Einstein telling us it's time to prioritize a visit with a customer, telling us it's time to reorder 
some existing products. So we're all set to go. With technology like this, you can turn every sales rep into your best sales rep. This could transform onboarding. This could transform your business. So let's take a step and let's actually look at what can happen here when the data changes, because all this data is inside of your CRM. So if this dealer decides to expand their business, let's say they're now going to ser offer services to off-road vehicles, how's that going to change our business? Now Einstein has updated our recommendations, updated the predictions, and is giving us a new next best action. It's time for us as the account manager to go out and get trained up on the newest line of off-road tires so we can have a smarter conversation with our customer. Imagine what this could do for your sales team. Imagine what it could do for your service team, for your entire organization. Now we just scratched the surface here with the power of automation, so we want to go a little bit deeper. And to do that, I'm really excited to introduce a good friend of mine, Chris DeGore, to show us the power behind Einstein Vision. Chris, where are you? I'm over here, hanging out with the demo team, as usual, and I've got our app ready to go to do tire inspection. Oh, look, that's Einstein. That's a nice car. Oh, that's, that's what totally not here, what I thought you meant by a Jeep. But that's cool. No, I can still make this work. So check it out. With this app, all I've got to do is take a picture of Einstein's tire. And what'll happen is that'll go into Einstein Vision. Einstein Vision will compare it against our product catalog and tell me exactly what I'm working with. And if you look at the bottom, not only that, but now I can hook into everything else you've built and get not next best action, but next best tire. I'm gonna get Einstein hooked up. Uh, I already, you got the rest of this. You're good. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. That was incredible. That's the power of image recognition. Think about, for all of your teams who are out there in the field, they're not locked to a desk. How can they use technology like that to automate key tasks and work smarter? So I want to retrace our journey. Now, we started by illuminating deep data and insights right where the key account managers are working most often with that beautiful replenishment forecast powered by Einstein Analytics. Then we showed you how every sales rep could predict which deals are most likely to close by turning on Einstein opportunity scoring with the flip of the switch. And then we built a custom prediction with Einstein Prediction Builder, which is currently in beta, great tool for all of your admins. And then we took all those sources of insight and we wrapped them together with a rules engine with Einstein Next Best Action so we can make, recommend the next best action for every account manager. And then we automated key tasks with tire recognition, visual product search, with Einstein Vision. Now, I'm really excited to introduce the visionaries behind these concepts I've shown you today. Sophie Fook and Eric Chagno of Michelin. Welcome. Give them a big hand. Thank you. Hi. Bonjour. Sophie, bonjour, uh -huh. Eric. <laughs> Thank you. So we all know Michelin. It's a household name, household brand. But tell us, what do you both do with Michelin? So, so I'm the chief digital officer of Michelin. I work for the global CEO of Michelin. And before I start, uh, the, the, the purpose of Michelin is a better way forward uh, in a sustainable way. And three years ago, our CEO and our executive team they understood that if we want to continue to be able to be one of the leaders in the mobility uh, market, then we needed to be a leader in the digital mobility. And for us, we defined five areas. One area is around digital customers. One area is around digital employees, digital processes, including digital manufacturing, connected, connected tires and connected vehicles, and last but not least, data analytics and AI. Excellent, great vision. Now, Sophie, I've been working with you all summer. Um, tell us, how did you get started with this vision? Hi, I'm so glad to be here. So I'm Sophie Fook. I'm the Global Director of Digital B2B. I have two main missions. One is to lead a group transformation aiming at a better customer and employee experience. And the second one is to source and manage digital talents in order to deliver CRM and customer analytics products. 
And you know what? We started quite as a trailblazer because innovation is part of Michelin DNF since ever. And on CRM side, we started with setting up a CRM lab in order to foster innovation, to start to explore. And maybe you want to say, Eric, what is AI for us? Yes, so AI for us, uh, there is really three things for us. So number one, I, I really encourage all of you in the room uh, to become tech companies. A every company in the world has to become, uh, become a tech company, number one. Number two for us, AI, we are convinced that AI is, transform, is going to transform everything that we are doing. So I talked about the five domains. We are convinced that the AI is going to revolutionize you know, everything that we do in all these areas. At Mission also, we are convinced that the power is combining the human power with the power of AI. And we are very strong on this combination. And last but not least, we believe that AI very often we talk about the 7 billion people market in the world, and we are convinced that only AI will enable us to serve all of you in a very personalized way. Excellent. Now, uh, obviously, the future of Michelin is bright. Tell us a little bit about the future and how Salesforce Einstein can help you. I, I think, as just Eric said, we are convinced by Michelin that the future will be digital and centered on human. And for such, we are convinced that artificial intelligence, that Einstein, will be the real game changer in the way we are able to improve customer experience. Because you know what? In a 7 billion market of people, personalized experience at scale, it's a challenge. And here, AI and Einstein are going to play a key role, critical role. And on employee experience side, you know what? What we really need is to be able to empower augmented employee, if I may. And I will be one of them, the first trailblazer. So happy to be able to perform better, thanks to all what we can do, thanks to data. Thank you. It's been such a pleasure working with you. And one more thing. The, yeah, the word, the last word for me is oh, that. Wait, I, I'm oh, not, sorry. Uh, not yet. You're not done yet. I'm not yet. <laughs> we have all these trailblazers here, and they want to know how can they get started. So what advice would you have for them? I think you, you, need, you need to start with keep it simple. I know it's super simple to say that, but I think the best way to keep it simple on AI is let's just target some use cases that are really linked to your business objective, your business strategy, your business goals, super simple one. For instance, we started with some uh, automated contact capture, which is a very basic one. Second, AI, it's not a matter of digital only, so you need to bring a multifunctional team in order to help you to focus on value, and that will be the last point. Really focus on what is the proof of value, because uh, there is so many things about AI that at the end of the day, you know what, cannot do everything. Let's focus on that. Excellent. Anything in closing, Eric? So the, so, uh, so the last word is that, uh, so we are recruiting Salesforce talent, and, and I, I take the opportunity. So we have a very strong purpose. Uh, we have been elected by Ford, the number one employer uh, uh, in the US uh, this year. So I really encourage you to take a look at, you know, at what we are doing, because we, we, we do this amazing digital transformation at, at the global level, at a very high scale level. So please, uh, if you are young, if you are very interested by this adventure, then feel free to contact us. Awesome. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Merci. Thank you, Ayori. Take care. <laughs> Michelin, everyone. Incredible. Now, without further ado, I'm really excited to introduce Sarah Erny, Director of Data Science for the Einstein Platform. Thanks, Iori. Wow, it is so great to be here. I'm a data scientist, and so I spend most of my days behind a computer working on products and looking at data. And so for me, being a Dreamforce is an opportunity to spend time with you and really learn about the value that our customers are getting out of what we're shipping. And we're about to hear from another customer, Hulu. 
Now, Hulu is a streaming service that I use to watch some of my favorite on-demand content and live TV. And when Hulu first came to us, they were interested in improving their customer service experience. And they had a lot of goals in mind. They wanted to discover issues that were trending across their service channels, predict issues that their customers were calling in about. They wanted to recommend other issues to check in on with those customers while they had them on the line. And of course, automate wherever possible. Now, I would love to tell you how Einstein solves all of these problems. But like I said, the best part of Dreamforce is you, the customer. And so I would like to bring to the stage the person responsible for doing this amazing work at Hulu, the VP of viewer experience, Karen Van Kirk. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. We're so pleased to be a part of this keynote because Salesforce has been transformative for the viewer experience at Hulu. My team handles customer support. We take care of the online community and help site. And we take what we learn from customers back to the rest of Hulu to drive improvements to the overall customer experience. One of our core values at Hulu is we start with the viewer. And with this Einstein Analytics dashboard, I can start every morning with a picture of what's going on with our viewers. Two things I love about this. It has historical data and trends that I can use to inform my planning. And it's a complete picture of the conversations our viewers are having with my team. Front and center, you can see the channels they're using to engage with us, and then key customer support metrics like wait time and customer satisfaction and so on. And then the volume of the different case topics that are coming in. And then with Einstein language, we can detect the sentiment across customer survey responses and chat transcripts and voice transcripts. Karen, I love the value you're getting out of these dashboards. But I happen to know you found some pretty cool stories when you dug in a little deeper. There are some great stories in the Hulu data. My favorite was when the show ER dropped on the service. Within the first two months, more than 35,000 people watched every episode. That's 331 episodes of ER. Karen, that's a lot of Clooney and a lot of binge. So what happens if a customer runs into some issues while enjoying Hulu service? Well, the Hulu product experience is very personalized, and we want the service experience to match that. And so today, we're going to see a few examples of how Einstein can help us do that. The first example is a traditional customer support call. Our customer calls in because her sister is moving in with her. She wants to get her set up on her Hulu account and make sure that they can each keep track of their shows and episodes. So in our agent console, all of the information needed to work with this customer shows up. And on the left is Einstein case classification, which automatically designates why the customer is calling so the agent doesn't have to click around and do it. I love that trailblazing there. Actually, my team got to work on this pilot product case classification. The reason why it's surfacing such accurate predictions is the models are built on Hulu's own historical service data. We love putting that data to work to make things faster for our customers and our agents. And as the um, agent works through this call, the Salesforce knowledge base will surface an article about account profiles in case the agent needs a reminder how to set up the sister. And then Einstein Next Best Action recommends that our agent engage the viewer in a conversation about devices on the thinking that if someone new is moving into the household, they might want to watch with a different setup than is already there. It's such a versatile product. We just saw it with Michelin surfacing cross-sell opportunities. So it's wonderful to see how it can be used in a service instant to anticipate those future issues and recommend to check in on with them while you have them on the line. Yeah, it makes for a great customer interaction. But we know some customers, sometimes they want more of an on-demand experience. And we'll have a second example where Einstein has helped for them, too. Yeah, absolutely. Here is the Hulu bot. This is Hulu's own chat bot built on the Einstein framework for bots. Now, Hulu has been a fantastic partner to Salesforce in building out that next generation chatbot experience that's now generally available for everyone. So why don't we take a look at how it was built? So here we are inside the Einstein bot builder, and we're editing HuluBot together. We see those dialogues, and we're going to click into that add new payment method. Now, here is how we define the way that the bot is going to interact with the customer. So we're going to acknowledge that request, and then we're going to ask for that credit card information that they want to add. Now, you can arrive at this dialogue by actually surfacing menu options that your customer can click on within the chat window. But as a data scientist, I'm actually most excited about that intent. This is how you teach your bot to understand your customer's natural language. That means she can chat with the bot as if she were chatting with a real live agent, just using regular conversation. Now, I'd love to turn it out with you all day about how we can do this with Einstein's natural language processing, but we just don't have time. So why don't we go ahead and build it? 
we're going to click on adding intents and add those that are relevant to the add new payment method. For example, there are the payment update. Now on the right, we're seeing all of those customer inputs. Those are actual historical inputs from Hulu customers requesting those intents. So you're, once you've added them up, you're going to go ahead, train up that bot, and hit activate. Karen, can we see it in action? Yeah, let's take a look. Um, this is our help site, and HuluBot is live there today, helping customers every day, every night. Um, let's say that our customer that was on the phone with us uh, hung up before she remembered that she wanted to update her credit card information. So she goes to our help site to see if she can do this quickly. HuluBot introduces itself and sets some expectations. Our customer says what it is she wants to do. I want to update my payment information. And then HuluBot says, Sure, I can help you with do that, and presents a secure screen where she can enter her credit card info. Done. It's fast and it's safe, which is good for the customer, and it's good for Hulu because the bot can handle our more transactional cases, leaving the agents for those richer conversations that help our customers get the most out of Hulu. This is such a fantastic example of how to use bots effectively. Karen, where do you see bots going next with Hulu? Well, our product experience today has voice, um, voice assistance, and we'd love to bring that to the service channels, too. All right, I might have heard a little something about this. So we have a little surprise for you. Hey, Chris. Huh? Oh, it's kind of foggy today. I was keeping warm by the fire. Uh, hey, so the demo was actually super easy to set up. Uh, all I really had to do was take your Hulu Alexa skill and pretty much point it at our bot framework. As a dev, that's super easy. But what's sweet is I got all of the natural language, it's intent stuff, all the data science -y stuff kind of for free. Here, let me show you what I mean. Hey, Alexa, can I get the NFL on Hulu? Your Hulu with live TV subscription gets you access to NFL games on NBC, CBS, Fox, and ESPN. Sweet. I got a fantasy lineup to set for uh, Thursday Night Football. Uh, you two got this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. That looks amazing. Sounds Chris. amazing. I can't wait to bring it to our customers. Such a great demo. Thank you so much. So we went through a lot of product. Why don't we recap? So first, Karen brought us through Einstein Analytics, where she was able to discover issues that were trending across her service channels and really identify those points of friction that she wanted to smooth out. She next took us through case classification, where she was able to predict those issues that the customer was calling in about so that she could speed that time to resolution. Next best action was used to recommend other issues to check in on with those customers, and then automation, chatbots, and voice bots. Karen, Thank you so much for being here today. I think the audience would really appreciate any advice that you have to give as they embark on this journey with Einstein themselves. Yeah, I think I would say start with your customers' needs and expectations, of course. Find a relatively narrow use case. It's a good candidate for automation. And then just get your hands on it and start testing and learning. It's the future. It's going to transform all of our businesses, and it's time to get going. <laughs> Karen, it's been so great to have you. Thanks so much. <laughs> We're going to pass it back to Jim. Thank you, ladies. So that wraps up two great stories, Michelin, Hulu. Of course, we heard about Code Tenderloin at the beginning. And we really just want to invite everyone to continue learning about Einstein. We've got amazing content over at Moscone West on the first and third floor and online, the Einstein Trail Mix. Uh, and of course, we have a full day of sessions. And of course, at 5 o'clock, Dr. Richard Socher is back uh, to go deeper into the models that are powering Einstein. So thank you so much. Have a great AI day here at Dreamforce.